Welcome back to Newsmax Now. I'm Miranda Khan. Topping your headlines, two people are dead after a tour bus crashes in Washington. Officials say a charter bus and a tour bus slammed into each other on a bridge in Seattle. Dozens of firefighters, as you can see, work to pull people out of this wreckage. Several people are injured. The White House says it will veto any spending bill that strips funding from Planned Parenthood. Earlier today, Senate Democrats shot down a temporary measure that would have removed all funding from Planned Parenthood. They want the GOP to introduce a clean bill without any language targeting that group. Congress has until next week to pass a spending bill to avoid a government shutdown. Iran blames Saudi Arabian officials for the deaths of more than 700 people during a stampede this morning. At least 800 others were injured. Muslim pilgrims were walking to a ceremony near Mecca in Saudi Arabia where there was a surge in the crowd leading to that stampede. Earlier, Washington Times columnist Todd Wood spoke to us from Ukraine, his reaction to Putin's initiative in the Middle East and what he expects will come about of his UN meeting with President Obama next week. I think uh, Obama's going to get his marching orders from Putin as to what's going to happen in the Middle East. Uh, you know, it's no longer America that's leading in that region. If you were an alien and came down in, in the Levant, and uh, you know, you'd be hard pressed to see that the United States had just spent trillions of dollars and lost thousands of lives because we're non-existent, and Russia is filling that vacuum. What also says Putin is trying to restore Russia to a military superpower.